Switching gears, a Doherty County man says officials aren't cooperating with the law when it comes to a litter of dogs that were seized from his home. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley connects us to his story. Back in February, Kerry Colbert had 20 dogs seized from his home for suspected dog fighting. But now the tables have turned. The detectives at the Doherty County Police Department cleared me of fighting. In Monday's trial, Judge Willie Lockett approved an order for Colbert to receive the remaining 12 dogs that hadn't been euthanized. But days later, Colbert says he can't figure out why officials are giving him the runaround. Every time I call, they'll say they're busy, they'll call me back or not to call. I don't own no dogs at the, at the Humane Society no more. The dogs are the property of the cities. He says he's been told that a lawyer would contact his lawyer for the exchange. But after reaching out through the phone, he says his lawyers haven't received any replies. Colbert says he just wants to know that the rest of his animals are okay and still alive. I got out of jail April the 5th, and I've been calling and pleading with them since April the 5th to let me come out and just visit to see them. They done it wrong from the very start. Uh, it, it, they tell me to get his dogs, man, they can't even go out there. How many is he going to get his dog? Doherty County District Attorney Greg Edwards says although there are no dog fighting charges in this case, Colbert still faces criminal charges for aggravated animal cruelty. Fox 31 found out that the Humane Society's lawyer, Michael Hall, may be handling the case. However, this can't be confirmed because Hall has been out of town for the last few days. Jessica Fairley, Fox 31 News.